morning guys how are you all today uh, I'm on my way out to a bit of a um, kind of off-the-cuff uh, meeting with a possible uh, new customer so <laughs> fucking hell there's a massive wasp on my lap Whew, Jesus <laughs> I look down there's this like huge wasp literally sitting on the top of my testicles through my jeans I was like ah, Jesus um, and uh, yeah I had to sort of coax him out of the car that was uh, quite a daunting uh, situation but anyway what was I going to say to you guys? Uh, I'm back in the Beast today, uh, back in the M6, and I've not driven it for a few days now, actually, which, before I went to Mexico, wouldn't have happened. I was literally just driving it absolutely everywhere. But because of the situation with the VW, and I'll update you on that another day, uh, I've been driving the van around, because when the weather's kind of all crappy and, and whatnot, it, it's like, well, I just want to keep this car nice. Um, I don't want to put unnecessary miles on it. So I've been driving the van around and I've actually been quite enjoying it for whatever reason, I don't know, but I, I have been. But getting back in this car today uh, is so beautiful. It really is such a, oh, it's just such a nice experience. But it's kind of made me reappreciate it all over again. I was actually saying to someone uh, a little while ago, in fact, I think I had two conversations about it. When I first got in this car, the speed and everything else was just ridiculous. And towards um, sort of when I went away to Mexico for the wedding, it was all seeming just a bit normal and I was kind of putting my foot down and thinking, oh, come on, hurry up. Uh, and that was even after I had it chipped, which to me just seems absolutely insane. So for a couple of reasons, I've decided to sort of drive it less. One of them being that I wanted to sort of reappreciate it again uh, for what it is. Now I know it's not you know a Rolls Royce or a Ferrari or anything like that but to me it's kind of my dream car really and, and when I got it I mean I was so uh, over the moon with it and through sort of driving it a little bit too much maybe I've sort of allowed it to become normality. So I've, like I say, I've decided to take a step back, not drive it so much, in the hope that I'll kind of appreciate it that much more and keep it and keep it nicer as well um, when I do actually get in it. And it has definitely happened because I got in it today and I was just like, oh man, I was sort of gripping the steering wheel, looking around, everything looks beautiful. Um, put your foot down just a little bit and it flies. And it, it sort of just made me realize that maybe too much of a good thing is not a good thing if you know what I mean it's quite often this sort of thing in life where people say uh, you know money doesn't bring you happiness and all this kind of stuff and I know this is not a, like, a ridiculous amount of money but it makes you wonder you know if you do have insane amounts of money does it all just merge into not really appreciating any of it whereas if you have to sort of fight and scrap for everything you've got does it make you appreciate it more I don't know, I don't like to sort of say definitively because A, I have no idea and because uh, I'm not I'm not in that situation and you know it'll be it wouldn't be right to sort of to say that because I'm sure there are plenty of people out there with ridiculous amounts of money that maybe appreciate every single second of it. I don't know, it's uh, it's a difficult one, but it has definitely uh, made me realize this morning, not realize but kind of re-realize if you like. Wow, there's a fucking lorry on the other side of the road coming towards me. Wow, I wish I'd have had the phone turn around the other way to record that. Yeah, it kind of made me just really realise, you know, appreciate, appreciating some of the, the real sort of things in life that you've worked ridiculously hard for and, and not take them for granted. To take a step back, uh, you know, kind of reevaluate, look at things from a slightly different perspective. And it can make you re fall in love with those things all over again. Or at least it has for me anyway. I, I just thought I would. Uh, bring that up I'm probably talking absolute nonsense but maybe some of you can um, relate to that maybe you've had similar sort of realizations in your own life around certain things uh, a lot of people will say no Adam you're a wanker it's a fucking car um, but it's not just a car it's something that I have grafted for many many years for dreamed about having when I was younger um, I mean if you'd have said to me in my 20s my early 20s that one day I'd own an M6 um, I probably would have been arrogant pretty said obviously uh, but in the back of my mind I would have been thinking wow that is like a dream but yeah anyway that's it on that subject I'll catch up with you in a little bit so guys um, what was I gonna say yeah all of those devices that wow my hair is all over the place uh, that I put up for sale the other day they've all gone I sold an iPad mini uh, 2 uh, an iPad Air original one 
I sold a iPhone 5S and iPhone 5 as well. And I've got one more thing to sell, and it is this, Galaxy Note 3. It is literally uh, brand new. It's never really left the house. I've only ever used it for review purposes. Uh, 32 gigabyte model, uh, still under warranty as well. Uh, all boxed, all of the accessories, all still in their wrapper and everything as always. Um, and I'm putting that up for 295 pounds. So if you want it, let me know and um, drop me a message on Facebook or Twitter or something like that and uh, we can sort it out. What else was I going to say? I'm having a good tidy up in here because it just seems to be a bit of a mess at the moment and I can't deal with it. Uh, I've also started work on a new video as well which you guys are going to like uh, around tips for creating a good setup which is I think quite interesting and that's about it. Uh, I've got my sister and my brother-in-law coming around tonight for dinner which will be good but yeah I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace.